All right, let's go to our news of the week, which is brought to you by Eagle Mortgage. EagleMortgageCompany.com is where you find them online. 114th and Davenport is where you find them in person. But they, as the name would indicate, do mortgages, but uh, not just mortgages. It doesn't matter whether it's FHA, VA, or, of course, conventional loans. They do all of that. It's January. It's snowy outside. So a lot of people think, yeah, I'll deal with the refinance and the looking for a new house in March. Don't wait. Every indication we have is that it's going to be another crazy year this year. So if you're thinking about buying a house, get your pre-approval letter from Eagle Mortgage now while they're not quite as crazy busy and you'll have a nice head start because a lot of people are already starting to go out and look even though it's snowing outside. At any rate, Eagle Mortgage takes good care of you. EagleMortgageCompany.com. All right, Brian, first thing on the docket. There was an interesting piece of news that came out of Lincoln this week. The state legislature formed this committee called Star Wars for short, and their purpose is to find a way to spend a lot of federal money that uh, has come into the state's possession because of pandemic-related federal grants or whatever you want to call them. At any rate, one of the things they're doing is $200 million worth of water and recreation type projects. And the biggest of those projects that this uh, committee has floated is a 4,000 acre lake that would be located, quote, between Omaha and Lincoln. Uh, the lake would be up to 35 feet deep, up to seven miles long, which means it would be pretty, pretty thin and skinny. Well, I've been doing a little bit of sleuthing. I looked at the rendering of the lake, and then I looked at Google Maps, plus I talked to a couple people. From what I can tell, it appears as if this lake would be immediately west of Gretna, just down the bluff line from Gretna, uh, east of the Platte River, um, a little bit north, just north of Highway 6, which is just north of Interstate 80. So basically, it would be a suburban Omaha, suburban Gretna type lake. But Brian... Uh, We bring this up for a couple of reasons. The renderings show a lot of construction around the lake. Of course, if you have a nice-sized lake like that, you're going to bring in a lot of um, adjacent real estate development. And the other reason why we bring it up is all the way back since the 1960s, there have been proposals for a large lake in that area. Now, this would pale in comparison to the proposals that involved damming the Platte River and flooding the city of Ashland and all that. This would not require a dam, and it would not flood Lake Ashland. But compared to the other lakes we have around here, it'd be very, very nice-sized. So if you look at uh, the strengths and weaknesses of Omaha, the metro area, when it comes to economic development, tourism, recreation, a large recreational lake where people could speedboat and water ski has always been mentioned. So this could be, if it happens, a real boost to recreation in the metro area. Yes, I, there's been a long time. There's been uh, there's been leadership and attempts to get a similar or uh, type of recreational um, amenity in the area. And you talked about uh, damming the Platte River and. and I understand this one uh, is not going to be damning the Platte River, which I think will will uh, a lot of people will appreciate. Uh, yeah, I, th- I you know it will create economic activity. Of course, uh, as a real estate man and a development man, I you know the development potential around it uh, is going to be intriguing, and uh, it'll be interesting to see who manages that project, who's the point person. So uh, on. Uh, if it's coming out of Lincoln, you know, does the NRD get involved or as in, in some of those aspects? Because the development potential might be different depending on who's the, the lead on it. But it will uh, it will be a great addition if it happens. Um, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like there's a lot of money there, but this has been attempted in the past. And hopefully this has a little bit more power and some and legs to get it done. Well, and anytime you're talking about digging a seven mile hole in the ground along a river, you're going to raise the little hairs on the back of some environmentalist necks. But the fact that you are not damming the plat makes it possible. I think if someone wanted to dam the plat, it's not happening. I just don't think you can make that happen in today's environmental environment. <laughs> environmental it, environment. It, it, Is it okay to say that? <laughs> I think I think it's I think it works. Yes. Yeah. No, so. I agree with you. Uh, you you development needs to steer clear of environmental 
issues uh, going forward. It's just it, that yeah. world is no longer. Well, and Gretna is already booming, already is going to boom. I mean, someday Gretna will probably have 50,000 people in the city. Uh, that's a long ways away, but but someday. And I think if you build this lake where I think it would go, it's only going to accelerate that. And you, you, you know, your specialty in commercial real estate is Sarpy County Development Land. Well, this would technically be, uh, if our calculations are correct, slightly barely in Sarpy County. I think it would qualify as something uh, that I could work on. I, yeah. I, I'm not I'm not such a purist that I wouldn't go into Douglas County, but uh, yeah, all things Sarpy County, I'm very interested in, and uh, and this will be a lot of fun to, to follow the progress of this. Well, it'll be interesting to see if you were, because it looks like it's all like a lot of farmland in uh, that river valley down there. So I'm sure some of the farmers who own land in that area right now who are listening are probably thinking, hmm, either A, I don't want to move. I'm happy where I am. Or they're like, ching, 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 ching. The cash register is going off uh, inside their brains. But we'll keep an eye on it. That could be a very, very exciting project. All right, let's talk a little bit about Heartwood Preserve, Brian. Um, in this week's uh, newsletter, um, Grow Omaha newsletter, and if you don't get the Grow Omaha newsletter, just send an email to news at Grow Omaha, and we can get you on that list. But on, um, on this week's newsletter, uh, we talked about some progress at Hartwood Preserve. Of course, Hartwood Preserve is the half billion dollar uh, project, which is on the old Boys Town West Farm and the old DeMarco Farm south of that. So west side of 144th from the south side of West Dodge Expressway all the way to what, maybe a third or a half mile south of Pacific Street. At any rate, Applied Underwriters, which is the master developer of that entire project, sent out a press release saying, hey, here's our recent progress. And I'll just go through it real fast so everyone knows. Uh, the Applied Underwriters headquarters itself on uh, the uh, south side of Pacific Street coming along nicely and is expected to be occupied in early 2024. I know that seems like a long ways away, but that is a hell of a project, especially when you consider they're putting um, over a thousand parking stalls underneath uh, the two office buildings. Valmont Industries' new headquarters is open. It is completed. Nice Noddle uh, Company's development project there accommodates up to 500 employees. Carson Group celebrated the completion of its six-story headquarters, uh, which is right there along Dodge, right to the east of that. Um, if you have been by there, you may have said, what's that five-story building that's under construction? Well, that's Union Bank and Trust looking great, um, and uh, that's coming along nicely. Hartwood Estates will be upscale luxury housing on the south side of Pacific. Every single one of their available lots has been pre-sold. I think there are about 40 or 50 of them, if I remember correctly. And right now, the future homeowners are going through the permitting process. Uh, we should start to see the first house in that neighborhood go vertical in the spring. Lockwood Development uh, took down a nice-sized chunk of land just south of that future Union Bank building, right along 144th Street. It'll be 7.5 acres. According to Applied Underwriters, that will be the development's first retail businesses. Trenton and I are hearing that that could include a lot of restaurant space. There's a bigger residential district in addition to just Hartwood Estates. That's north of Pacific. Uh, grading has been completed. Infrastructure is uh, coming along nicely. And this summer, uh, the neighborhood's 234 houses and homes should begin construction. And then finally, Ovation Heartwood Preserve, which is an upscale, active lifestyle community. I believe that is the assisted living, senior living, independent living thing um, opening. It says winter of 22. Now, I don't know. I, I don't know if that means... We are in the winter of 22 or December of 22, so they, they, they didn't specify that. But what, what I think all of this tells us, Brian, is that Hartwood is coming along, and while some pieces of it probably won't be completed for another 10, 15 years or more, there's quite a bit already uh, that's got a lot of bit of momentum, and that will be a Class A development. Yes, they've... Um They've uh, assembled some some good partners in there. Uh, the, you know, the retail will be in in really good hands with Lockwood and, and Chips Group, so you know that's going to be done right. Uh, the uh, and and the uh, true mixed use development, the uh, and all the elements are going to come together to have an, a nice synergy out there. 
and uh, it's and it's really nice to see the the Class A office buildings go up, and uh, and not slow down with this temporary uh, change in uh, the office market uh, with the uh, with COVID and things of that issue, which we all believe is temporary. And so yeah, it's I think they've got good partners, good ideas, and it's nice that the momentum is continuing on, and uh, and and then it'll, it'll it, now it'll start getting that critical mass, and it'll just it'll finish out real nice. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your development news of the week brought to you by Eagle Mortgage. They know mortgages like nobody knows mortgages, and you can find them at eaglemortgagecompany.com. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.